Today we are discussing about KMAP or the Carnot map. Carnot map is used to simplify Boolean function or Boolean expression. Carnot map is a diagram made up of squares or each square representing a mean term. We can have three type of Carnot map. Two variable KMAP, three variable KMAP and four variable KMAP. If you are using a two variable KMAP then you can have four squares and each square representing different min terms say min term 0 min term 1 min term 2 and min term 3 let's look into details say we have variable x and y when the x holds a value 0 we are representing it as x bar when the x holds a value 1 we are representing it as 1 sorry x like when y equal to 0 that means we are representing it as y bar and when y is 1 we are representing it as y so you can have the first element as 0 0 or x bar y bar say 0 0 this 0 0 defines in binary the 0 0 defines a 0 so we name it as m0 another element is 0 1 or x bar y the 0 1 represent a decimal 1 so m1 the min term 1 next element is 1 0 or x y bar 1 0 means 2 in decimal so m2 and the last element is 1 1 or x y this 1 1 in binary represent a decimal 3 so we can have m3 or the min term 3 before explaining this example, let's look at a term, a Boolean expression, x bar dot y plus x dot y bar plus x dot y. So each term is a product term and we are summing up. So this is sum of these products, sum of product or S of P and each product term is defined as or termed as min term and we are representing each min term with a small letter m you can look at the example m1 plus m2 plus m3 the first step is whenever you are seeing a min term then you have to put one here so m1 so put one here m2 put one here then m3 put one here the other cells are zero the step two is you have to find adjacent cells cells okay you have to find adjacent cells adjacent cells can be found using vertically sorry vertically or horizontally you cannot have adjacents like diagonal elements okay whenever you are having two ones so you can find the adjacent cells so you can have one one right so what we are trying to do is this cell representing or the m2 representing x y bar this representing x y bar x y bar okay and this cell representing x y that means the y is changing from 0 to 1 but x does not have any change so we are taking the the element that does not have any change so here we got x and another case is m1 and m3 the m1 represents x bar y and this represents x y so this represents x bar y and this element represents x y the variable that is having change is x x so x is changes from x bar to x so we are neglecting the variable that is having change and we are taking the value y here because y does not have any change the x does not have any change but y changes so we are avoiding the y and we are taking x here and by coupling these terms finding these adjacent terms the x have a change and y does not have change so we are taking the answer as y so at last 
you can have the answer x plus y this is is the simplified expression of m1 plus m2 plus m3 for further explanation if you are reducing using basic algorithm sorry basic theorems and rules you can have x y bar plus x y so we are making x y bar plus y the y bar plus y is 1 so you can have x also similarly x bar y plus x y implies y into x bar plus x that is implies y into 1 implies y so we are summing the x plus y so you can also get like this but we are using the came up method to sim to make it fast to make it simply we can get the answer from here 